So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing the sixth part for the two player fighting game. So today we'll be working on the throwing for the throwing projectiles and shooting projectiles. We'll uh, add a new backdrop maybe if we have time. And if the player either player is dead, we can do something about that. So let's start out with dragging through the code so you guys can copy anything down you guys didn't copy before so if you guys missed anything you can just pause the video and copy it down I'll just drag through so this is the player one player two is pretty much the same thing I'll still drag through it So this is player two. So you got the magic gem, same as always. The begin button, character one, character one button, character two button, character three button, character four button, the P1 health box, the player one health box, the player one HP, the player two health box, player two HP, and we will work on the bullet and the kunai today. So today we'll be working on the throwing. So let's start out with the kunai. So when flat clicks, let me zoom in. I'm gonna go to the front layer. Go to front layer. Set size to 30%. And hide in the beginning. And when I receive start game, when I re receive start game, we can get an if else statement. So if the player one character is equal to the ninja girl. So player one character is equal to NG. Then we can switch the costume to kunai. Else we can switch the costume to the fire attack. So what this means, if the player selected is the ninja girl, then we will switch the costume to the knife else I'll switch to the fire. So next we will want to go get another uh, message. So when I receive P1 attack 2, then we can create a clone of myself. When I start as a clone, um, go to player 1. Always go to the player 1. Player 1. Point in direction. Point in direction, um, and then you get the this block. And to select a player, you have to select this one first. Player one and direction. You have to always select the last one first. Then you can select this one, or it won't work. So we can do move ten steps to make it go out a little bit. Show. Get a repeat until. Repeat until touching. You need two ors ors. So either touching the edge. So oops, put that back in. So repeat until touching edge. Edge or touching player two or touching the bullet. So if it's touching either one of these, bullet, then we can move 10 steps and delete the clone. Delete this clone. The bullet is pretty much the same thing. You can just drag and drop the code into the bullet. Except we'll have to change some code. And drag this in okay so now we have all the code dragged in we have to change some broadcasting and size so for this one for the bullet we want to make it size 15 instead of size 30 
and when I receive P2 attack 2, so player 2 attack 2, then we can create a clone of ourselves. Then and then we can also get instead of player 1, we do player 2. Instead of player 1 right here, we do player 2 and direction. Move 10 steps, show all the same, repeat edge, and instead of player 2, it's player 1, and this should be kunai. Because this is the bullet. And instead of um, ng, if player character 1 is equal to ag, the adventure girl, then we switch the costume to the bullet, else we'll switch to the magic, which is for the genie. So these two, bullet and magic. We don't actually need this, so I can just delete it. So, yeah, that's all the code for the uh, projectiles. So now we can work on if the player 1 or player 2 is dead. So, let's do it right here. So, when I receive, P1 is dead. P1 dead, player 1 dead. Then we can set the is p1 dead to y which is yes set p1 uh is player one dead to y as in yes stop other scripts in the sprite because it is dead click the stop all click the triangle stop other scripts in the sprite clear graphic effects so it won't change color anymore once it is dead Set the player attack costume to zero, so it'll go back to the first attack costume. Set player attack costume back to zero. Get a repeat loop. We're doing repeat 10 times because this is um, has 10 costumes. So for the dead, we have 10 costumes, I believe. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we do have ten, and then we have the tombstone. So we repeat ten times, switch costume, switch costume, you need the two joins, join, and another join, switch costume to join player one character. So this can be NG. So join ninja girl, dead underscore, Your co if your costume is not dead underscore, like ours, then you have to um, do it to the corresponding name. So ours is dead underscore, and then we get the player attack costume. So when you click on this, I'm going to drag this out to demonstrate, it'll say ng dead 10. So I'll change the 10th attack, uh, tenth costume. So wait 0.1 seconds just to give it some pause. So uh, they'll lay down for a little bit and we can change the player attack costume by one. Change the player attack costume by one. Wait one second, give a little pause, look like it's dead. Hide. Um, hide. Switch costume to tombstone. Tombstone. Let me find it. Tombstone right here. And then we can get a show. So yeah, that's the code for the dead. So all you have to do is just drag and drop it to player two. Get the player two. Let me drag this to the blank area so you guys can see it. Okay, let me zoom in. So, instead of player 1 dead, it should be P2 dead. And it should, instead of is player 1 dead, it should be is player 2 dead. And then, this is all the same, player attack costume. Instead of player 1, we do player 2 character. And this sh should all be the same. Player attack costume. All right, so now we have all the uh, dead thing. Now we can actually add backdrops. We can add like a backdrop selection screen. So we can go to backdrops. I have 
um, I about drop my uh, library, I mean backpack, I can just drag it in here. So what I did in here was actually get uh, three of them, three of the same thing, three of the same backdrop, and then I duplicated them, I resized it, because this, this backdrop is actually a bit smaller than this one. So what I did was get three of these, and then I resized it for each one, and then made uh, two of them go to the back layer, so you only see one, one of the costumes, but um, you can still see the bottom. So I'll show you how I did it. I'm going to paint a new... So I just copy-paste it, copy-paste the second one, and it's like it's like you have to size it and then I make this one go to the back layer and then finally get the third one copy paste it and see how it's two moons you only want one make it go to the back so boom now it looks perfect so that's how you do it if you don't know how to do it then just do what we did and now I'm gonna work on the um, the background select. So I'm just going to drag these in here. So this one is... So I actually exported the wrong, wrong, um, button. So I have to import it back. Um, downloads... So I have it right here. So I'm just gonna delete all this code real quick. So now I have the desert. I can rename this to maybe, oh, what is it called? A uh, graveyard. As you can see, I named it Skull Creek to make it a little more creative. So name it Graveyard BG, I guess. Graveyard BG. So let's work on this button first. So let's go to the code. So for the desert background button, we're going to get a one flag clicked. Go to this X and Y position, negative 135, Y negative 75. Go to front layer. Switch costume to costume one. Costume one, which is the regular one, and there's also the Wild West. So costume one and show in the beginning. When the sprite is clicked, when the sprite is clicked, switch costume to costume two. Switch costume to costume two and broadcast a message called Desert BG set. Set. Desert background set. And then when I receive start game, then we can hide in, in the beginning once the game starts. And for the um, graveyard, we can just drag and drop this code into the graveyard. Apparently it's not letting me, so I'm just gonna do it again. One flat clicked. Instead, we'll go to this 140, negative 75, X and Y position. Go to the front layer. Switch costume to costume one in the beginning. Show. When the sprite is clicked, we can broadcast um, we can switch costume to costume two, which is the selected one, and broadcast a message called Graveyard BG Set. Graveyard BG Set. Set. Now, when I receive Desert BG Set, then we can switch costume to costume one, so it's not unselected. And when I receive start game, hide. Hide. 
hide right here. And when this one receives, when I receive graveyard, graveyard DG set, then we can switch costume to costume one. So this is it for this video. Oops, the background is a bit shifted. Sorry about that. Let me shift it back to normal. I don't know why it got resized, but okay, I resized it. So I'm going to play the game for you guys. Save the pro. Don't forget to save the project. So I'm going to play it. So you can either select the school creek. As you can see, when I was doing it, I forgot to add one last piece of code. That's why it didn't switch to the backdrop. I forgot about that. So let's add it real quick right now. So when I receive Desert BG set, then we switch the backdrop to backdrop one. You can duplicate this. And when I receive Graveyard BG set, switch the backdrop to backdrop two. So now, when you play it, it should work. As you can see, when you click on it, it changes to that backdrop. And we also have to change the tile sets. So when the tile sets receive the, um, when I receive the um, Desert BG set and switch costume to one, switch costume to one, and you can duplicate this. So, and when I receive graveyard BG set, we can switch costume to two, which is the graveyard tile set. So let's play it, it should work. So when you switch it, it works like that. So I'm gonna play it. As you can see, they all fall down because we have not added the code, which we'll add in the next video. So for the, I'll just try the graveyard. I'll just do it in the graveyard one. Let's play it. It works fine. See, when you press 9. And I forgot also this, which is really bad. So, to change the player to character. So now, I hope this will work. So now it's actually shooting out bullets and it's hitting it. The dragon. Shoots out fire. The gem does nothing yet because we have not coded anything for it. And let me let me kill let me kill the um, adventure girl real quick. So it dies. And the tomb soon will come out, as you can see. And now I'll show you guys um, these two. I shoot out the fireball. It's the melee. The melee are here. They're the kanai. So this is what we've made. So I'm just gonna kill the genie real quick. And it has a different death position. Well, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And join us in the next two-player fighting game episode tomorrow.